Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Monday, the 30th of November. It's cold, it's windy, and in spots, it is snowing across Alabama today. How about that? Here's the upper air look at a cold core upper trough digging down through here, helping to produce the winter-like weather today. There is the visible satellite view. It's actually sunny in southwest Alabama, places like Mobile, Gulf Shores, Monroeville, Thomasville. They're in sunshine, but the rest of the state, it's cloudy and it's cold. And that was the radar at uh, 2.07 this afternoon. And again, the radar algorithm showing snow is blue, drizzle is green. And you can see a number of snow showers and snow flurries passing through the state this afternoon. But temperatures are above freezing. Now, barely above freezing for Haleyville. They've got 33, mostly mid to upper 30s and low 40s elsewhere. So no impact from the snowflakes that are flying today. And even up north, Huntsville 37, Memphis 37. So again, no travel issues at all with the uh, snow flurries and snow showers. Uh, to the south, we have a freeze warning in effect tonight for parts of South Alabama. Uh, they'll see a freeze down to the Gulf Coast. The reason for the warning, this is their first significant freeze of the season. The rest of the state has already experienced a freeze, so there's no warning for the rest of Alabama, but everybody goes well below freezing. And to the north, we have winter weather advisories from parts of North Georgia and Tennessee, north into parts of Ohio, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. Winter storm warnings in effect for the lake effect snow belts up there. And the severe weather risk, a risk of severe storms on the Atlantic coast from the Outer Banks of North Carolina to Cape Cod with that uh, cold front moving into that region this afternoon and tonight. But really, after today, precipitation amounts down here very light for the next seven days. This is suggesting rain amounts under a quarter of an inch for much of the state. We'll see some scattered light rain on Thursday. But other than that, things look pretty quiet for a while. And so long hurricane season. Stick a fork in it. It's done. Uh, now, we can have a rogue late season system after the end of November, but uh, that little disturbance in the East Atlantic, that's really a cold core system, and things are awfully quiet elsewhere. And we can celebrate that. So, model fans, here we go. The GFS, this is the 12Z run, ballot tomorrow at 3, troughing for the eastern U.S. And for us, a dry day. Now, we start the day well down in the 20s. After that, the high will be in the upper 40s. The sky will be sunny. Wednesday, mostly sunny, and again, we'll be in the 20s to start the day. The high will be in the 50s. Rain to the west with the next feature, and that will be bringing some light rain in here Thursday. But really not much. Moisture will be very limited. So just some scattered light rain on Thursday. Uh, cloudy, a bit colder with a high close to 50 in most spots. And then Friday, that disturbance is on by. The sky becoming partially sunny will be in the 50s, and then a nice weekend. This is Saturday. Partly sunny with mid-50s, and Sunday will be a sunny day with mid to upper 50s, so nice and quiet for the weekend. Here's a week from today, Monday the 7th, again troughing on the East Coast, and we are dry and cool. We'll go out 10 days. This is Thursday of next week, December 10th. Ridging over the Gulf of Mexico, beginning to push in here, got a trough way out west, and again, that looks rain-free and quiet. Rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble for the next 15 days, the mean about an inch and a half. And temperatures look to be below average uh, after this cold snap. Uh, highs in the 50s, lows mostly in the 30s on out there through mid-month. And this is the brand new CPC outlook, December 8th through December 14th, uh, suggesting temperatures down here could be a little below average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. There are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more.